Hi everybody. So this particular video, um, I'm going to tell you a story of what happened recently. Um, we had a big scare um, on Neil's health. Uh, he did the MRI. He's a cancer survivor and uh, the MRI, the doctor called and said, oh, she sees something like new spot. So we were all scared. And so she had to do some tests. We've been praying. We asked everybody to pray. And I've been giving him um, some immunity support and um, letting him drink more of the pomegranate juice. So anyway, um, they did some tests and the test came back negative, which is what we wanted. So no cells in the spinal fluid. And But the next MRI will be in June. Instead of every six months, it will be every three months to keep an eye on. Hopefully what they saw was just a scar tissue because scar tissues can also grow anyway. And um, yeah, so this is what we um, um, this is what we did and we were like, am I going to still film or not? Because I cannot concentrate. So it's going to be like erratic, my sporadic, my filming. So I said, okay, um, we want to share that story to you. And uh, I was like holding my breath. I couldn't. You know, function. I couldn't work at the same time and have my mind somewhere else, thinking of Neil. But we are so grateful um, for all the uh, prayer warriors and the families and friends who prayed for Neil and us. Please continue the prayers. And also, um, my sister told us about this place called Marytown. It's a church in Libertyville, Illinois. And um, to go there. And when Mike Googled it, Turns out that the church name is St. Maximilian Kobe, which is uh, Neil's Saint Squad in school. So it's like meant to be. So that's why we're here right now. I want to show you how it looks like. And we just wanted to think, think of course, St. Padre Pio, uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, all angels and saints for giving us good health for Neil and for interceding for us. So I'll catch you up later when we're... Um, in the church ground so this is outside it's a, a very big place Mary town st. Maximilian Kobe so it's a Franciscan friars it says so even on a weekday this I know this is weekend it's Saturday but mostly masses on Sunday but there's a lot of cars So here it is. No, I cannot even see you. So, see, this is the name. So I guess this is uh, Saint Maximilian Kobe. I have to read his story. I'm not familiar with him, but this is Neil's um, Saint Squad in school that he's assigned to. They call it Marytown. So I didn't know that the name of the church is St. Maximilian Kobe because they call it Marytown. Hello.
shop. Of course, I would find them in the gift shop. The kids and Mike. This is when it's cool. It's not common. St. Joseph and Mother Mary. And now they give birth. They're all beautiful. We want to get something for Father George. He's moving to a different church. He took care of Neil when he was in the hospital. Like he went there to pray for over him. So this is the Saint Saint Maximilian Maria Col Colby, not Colby. So that's him. He looks like a recent saint, eh? like with pictures of him in recent times, not just drawings or paintings. Maybe get Neil a bracelet. Presence of Padre Pio, and this is the heart Michael. of Jesus, yes. the presence of God, healing and protection for you and your family. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Father, Amen. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Okay guys, so we're back at home now. We just came from the church. So as I was saying earlier, um, I was all over the place when I was telling you the story. So initially, before we found out about the result of the test, the doctor as well said that this particular thing that she saw on the MRI that was seems to be growing, it's not growing as fast as that old tumor. So it could be something else. So hopefully it's just the scar tissue and uh, you know, we're praying that it's either gonna shrink, disappear, um, but you know, worst case scenario, it's a scar tissue only. And that's what we're banking on, you know, and of course we keep praying still. This is a lifetime, you know, sort of fear that in the back of our mind that we don't want anything to come back and so he has so was supposed to take growth hormone as well and we stopped well we didn't think we didn't do anything because we want to make sure first that the next MRI you know we don't want the growth hormone to catalyze cata you know to push anything to grow that shouldn't be growing so we did go to the church, we did offer a prayer of thanks for Neil's um, win this time, even if it's a small win that, you know, thank God no, no, nothing, no cells found in the, in the spinal fluid. But please continue to pray for us and Neil. Um, it's a, like a lifetime battle for him. There's other issues that could arise, let's say like he has to take growth hormone now because you know there's after effects you know the long-term effects of the chemo and the radiation that he was taking before so they have to check his endocrine um and the growth and other things as well and he's still of course doing therapies with his physical and um, speech and all that so this is all we got for now so thank you for bearing with us uh, even if i my video sporadic because life happens so and we'll see you next video see you next time bye